All right, guys. Got another one here from TJ. My buddy with the Chevelle. He's going Mustang now from Chevy to Ford. <laughs> this car has been sitting 11 years and um, has never been, hasn't been fired since. Um, I did uh, put some marble in the plugs, I mean in the cylinders, and I broke it free by hand. I let it sit in there a couple days. I was able to get down there with a with a breaker bar and spin it. It broke free fairly easy, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to try it with the starter just in case. But um, yeah, she's in a little rough shape, but it's a '92 notchback, which is um, here in Florida. I don't know about everywhere else, but they really love these cars. And it's a five speed. I've always loved those stainless pipes on the back of these things. All right. We'll come back when we, uh, I did turn the key on, the fuel pump's not working. So of course, I mean, after that many years, the fuel pump's not gonna work. And I was able to turn it over with the key. Um, I'm gonna get some gas. And, a vacuum line see if we fire it up and I'll come back and video it when it fires off we'll see what it sounds like they said it was a mean machine but you know a five speed with a 302 they were pretty strong anyway the guy said it was just scary I think the reason it was scary is because the front end <laughs> I put a couple of tires on it, it came with three flat tires I put a couple of tires on it, and I mean, there was probably uh, half to three quarters of an inch of play on the inner tie rods on each side, so I don't know if he meant it was just too scared to drive that way, or he was scared because it was so fast. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll come back when we fire it off, and I'll video it. Alright, thanks for watching, stay tuned.